Here we have the Roka R1 Swim Goggles. So these are Roka's Premium Goggles. And I got them in, I think they're in a dark grey mirror. I wanted them in Arctic mirror, but like a lot of stuff Roka does, unfortunately, they have all these cool colours and then most of them are out of stock. So I had to make do with this one. They still look pretty cool. I like the dark grey mirror. As with everything Roka do, I put a lot of time in the packaging. That was a box with two little wings. And this unfolds here on the back. There we go. And there's a little cable tie here. Okay, that's the goggles out. These boxes empty, I think they are. Yeah. So this side we've got carry case, soft carry case, and a little roca leaflet. Plastic off. Okay, there we go. So, first impressions look good, very mirrory. Can see my face in them. Can see the camera in them. Nose feels feel pretty sturdy. These look nice and sticky. Strap. Mm. Oh, there we go. This doesn't have the split design on the back of the strap. That a lot of them do. I think some of Roka's do that as well. Or is that? Yeah, maybe that would do it. Once they're on. In fact, that's completely detachable. So there we go. Be interesting to see how that strap works, especially if I've got my hair tied up. That's them out of the box. Let's see what they're like on and then we'll go test them in the pool. First impressions of the Roka R1. Couple of things to note. So I'm not, I'm not super sold on this strap. So it's, it's kind of, it's like two pieces that are just looped round and it's quite difficult to, it's not difficult to tighten them with this, but it, it's a bit fiddly. And then you've got to kind of get them to the same length and then there's not, they're not a split design like a lot of goggles where then you can stick your hair through. It's just two kind of completely independent pieces. In terms of them going on, the eyes seem a bit, it's just, I don't know whether I just have a big head, but they seem, uh, the eye cups seem a little small. I do like the mirror effect, it cuts out a lot of light, so I think in the pool and in direct sunlight that's going to be super useful. Now you've got quite a wide range of vision, but it is distorted because of the way the way that the goggles are designed. So in terms of vision, like I can see my hand, see my hand about here coming down from the top. It's there, it's not too bad coming up I can see it I can see it all the way down here which is unique like you normally wouldn't be able to see that in goggles because this seems to reflect it but where, how useful that is I don't know because it's it's distorted because of the angle so that's it's in my vision properly there down here I can kind of see this weird reflection I'm pretty sure that's a feature and whether it will be useful or not I'll have to get in the lake and find out and tell you there. But comfort's not too bad. Things like fogging and leak proof will obviously have to get in the pool and find that out. First impressions, yeah, not sure. I'm interested to find out how all this extra vision from the, the angles on it, if you can see. 
And where you would normally get plastic on another goggle, it's just more goggle. So it'll be super interesting to see how that works out. The other thing that I'm I'm so so on is you get this nice uh, carry pouch to put your goggles in, but it's got two issues. One is that uh, the so the lovely whiteness might get dirty quite quickly, but at the moment when it's brilliant white, it looks like a tissue. And that sounds silly, but I keep reaching for it on the table, trying to get a tissue to wipe my nose, and I'm realizing that it's this little bag. And the other thing I worry is, can I put wet goggles in here? The, the one I've got with my Zogs is like a, a black mesh thing that you can just shove wet goggles in. Obviously, that's, I'm gonna dry them out when I get home, but when I'm just leaving the pool, it just needs to go somewhere so I can transport it home. And kind of feels like I need to completely dry the goggles before I put them in this lovely bag. Because it's super lovely, feels nice, but whether it's particularly practical, I don't know. So let's go test all this stuff out and see where we get to. Done some swims in the Roker R1 goggles now, and at first I thought they were they were going to be quite small in terms of they really seem to push into my my eye sockets a bit more. That hasn't been a problem while swimming. There's been no discomfort there, so that's been fine. Equally, I thought this strap looked quite flimsy. Again, when I'm swimming, it's not been a problem. I haven't had any discomfort. It, it's more annoying, I guess, outside when it's just kind of dangling around and trying to keep it straight. But actually, in terms of doing what it's designed for, which is a swim, it's been great. Vision was fine, I'd say fairly comparable to other goggles. In terms of the mirror lens, then mixed results with this. So in the pool, I found it's actually a bit too dark. Normally I like to go for a mirror in the pool, but when I put these on in the pool, it was it felt too dark and I've gone back to using different goggles in there. But in open water where there's been bright sunshine, these have been excellent. So I had a race a couple of weeks ago, the sun was shining, it was quite low because it's just the end of summer heading towards autumn and the sun's getting a bit lower and it was just shining straight across the lake and for that these were perfect because I could swim towards the sun without getting blinded which I find is a problem on a really sunny day with my Zogs Predators. So I'm pretty happy with these, these are going to make it into my regular goggles rotation for open water swimming when it's sunny. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe to get all my latest videos in your feed.